Pharmacos, Wikipedia article audio. A pharmacos in ancient Greek religion was the ritualistic sacrifice or exile of a human scapegoat or victim. Ritual A slave, a cripple, or a criminal was chosen and expelled from the community at times of disaster or at times of calendrical crisis. It was believed that this would bring about purification. On the first day of the Dharjlia, a festival of Apollo at Athens, two men, the Pharmakoi, were led out as if to be sacrificed as an expiation. Some scholia state that Pharmakoi were actually sacrificed, but many modern scholars reject this, arguing that the earliest source for the Pharmakos shows the Pharmakoi being beaten and stoned, but not executed. A more plausible explanation would be that sometimes they were executed and sometimes not, depending on the attitude of the victim. For instance, a deliberate unrepentant murderer would most likely be put to death. Modern Interpretations In Aesop in Delphi, Anton Wechers discussed the parallels between the legendary biography of Aesop and the Pharmacos ritual. For example, Aesop is grotesquely deformed, as was the Pharmacos in some traditions, and Aesop was thrown from a cliff, as was the Pharmacos in some traditions. Gregory Nagy, in Best of the Achaeans, compared Aesop's Pharmacos' death to the worst of the Achaeans in the Iliad, their sites. More recently, both Daniel Ogden, the Crooked Kings of Ancient Greece and Todd Compton, victim of the Muses, poet as scapegoat, warrior and hero examine poet Pharmakoi. Compton surveys important poets who were exiled, executed or suffered unjust trials, either in history, legend or Greek or Indo-European myth. Notes Walter Burkert and René Girard have written influential modern interpretations of the Pharmacos rite. Burkert shows that humans were sacrificed or expelled after being fed well, and, according to some sources, their ashes were scattered to the ocean. This was a purification ritual, a form of societal catharsis. Girard likewise discusses the connection between catharsis, sacrifice, and purification. Some scholars have connected the practice of ostracism, in which a prominent politician was exiled from Athens after a vote using pottery pieces, with the Pharmacos custom. However, the ostracism exile was only for a fixed time, as opposed to the finality of the Pharmacos execution or expulsion. Pharmacos is also used as a vital term in Derridean deconstruction. In his essay Plato's Pharmacy, Derrida deconstructs several texts by Plato, such as Phaedrus, and reveals the interconnection between the word chain pharmakia pharmakon pharmakeus and the notably absent word pharmacos. In doing so, he attacks the boundary between inside and outside declaring that the outside is always already present right behind the inside. As a concept, pharmacos can be said to be related to other Deridean terms such as trace. 